tin bin is an excavator mounted vacuum attachment. It utilises the excavator's hydraulic system to operate. It's a one-man operation controlled from within the excavator cabin. It's a top quality attachment manufactured in Germany. The tin bin was initially developed for rail maintenance applications and sucking up ballast. However, they've proved very popular in many other applications as, as an alternative to hydrovac, including potholing and civil works, utility services, and environmental work like when working around tree roots. The rotating capability of the suction tube helps to loosen the material, making it easier to vacuum up. By allowing the tube to rotate, the operator can efficiently manage the excavation process with just one person. The manual suction tube serves a critical role when working in delicate areas or when attempting to locate underground services. The rotating suction tube can be capped off, allowing for the connection of the manually operated hose. The tin bin is a dry vac system based on Benoli's principle to generate suction. The vacuum is generated by a hydraulic motor operating a blower fan. Now the key thing here is airspeed. Tin bin produces an impressive 8,300 CFM, creating a negative air pressure above the material. The vacuum intake is a diameter of 250 millimetres, allowing for efficient material collection while minimising blockages. While tin bin is a dry vac, it can also be used as a hydro vac with water. Tin bin can suck mud, water, and it can be used in conjunction with an air lance or a water nozzle, common with non-destructive digging practices. The vacuum tank in the tin bin system serves as a collection chamber for the material being excavated. With a capacity of 0.75 cubic metres, it provides ample space for holding the collected material. It has a series of baffles to capture the airborne particles as they pass through the chamber. On the base of the tin bin are two doors to allow controlled dumping. The doors are hydraulically operated from within the excavator and have a rubber seal to prevent liquid material leaking out when clothes. Dumping is simple, allowing you to dump directly on a truck or to keep the material separate so you can use it later. The standard tin bin setup weighs in at 1250 kilos when empty. It sits at two meters high, it's 1500 wide and 2.5 meters in length. The tin bin is designed to be mounted on excavators of 13 tonnes or more. This recommendation is based on the unit's weight and the hydraulic oil flow requirements. When fully loaded, the tin bin can weigh approximately two and a half tonnes. There's more detailed dimensions. These can be found on the spec sheet. The tin bin requires two hydraulic circuits and a case drain. The blower fan circuit should be a one-way or single acting circuit like that which is used for a hydraulic hammer. This requires oil flow of 120 to 125 litres a minute at a maximum of 280 bar. The secondary circuit needs to be double acting or two-way and this is what controls the door and the rotating suction tube. The tin bin has a series of hydraulic sequencing valves that allow the suction tube, the rotation and the doors to operate independently in sequence. The onboard water tank and pump provide a fine spray inside the chamber to assist with dust suppression. It has an adjustable flow depending on the material being excavated and operates whenever the rotating suction tube is in operation. RoboHire is the exclusive dealer for tin bin in New Zealand. We offer new units available for purchase and also provide rental options nationwide. If you're interested in trying a tin bin, contact RoboHire to arrange a demonstration and experience the unit's capabilities firsthand. <laughs>